Ladies and gentlemen, I am Charlie Kurt, the world's greatest college campus debater in the history of the world. And I'm here at UTSA, a school that's predominantly pretty easy to get into, so all these kids are probably pretty stupid. So when they debate me, they're gonna lose. If you debate me, you die! <laughs> and yes, I debate young children because they're easier to debate. Doesn't matter. I wipe the floor with them, and we're gonna get clicks on the internet. I am about to break the world record for most college campus debate wins in the history of history of all history, recorded human history and unrecorded history, and I am the greatest debater. Welcome to the Charlie Kurt Debate Experience. <laughs> Do you want to debate Charlie Kirk? You can't talk? Ma'am, can you talk for him? Do you want to debate Charlie Kirk? Do you want to debate Charlie Kirk? Do y'all want to debate Charlie Kirk? You can change his mind. She had an accent. That was kind of cool. Sir, do you want to debate Charlie Kirk? I'm okay. You I'm, sure? I don't think I can change it. I think I agree with most of what he says. Here's the thing. He's kind of washed up. You would be shocked how easy it will be to change his mind today. Do you want to, do you want to debate Charlie Kirk? I'm good. I'm good. Char Charlie Kirk is right there. You know how famous he is? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Also, it's 86 degrees, why are you wearing a beanie? I'm sweating. Come here and debate me, bro! I'm good! <laughs> Don't be scared, dude. I'm Come not scared. Come and say something. Uh, I, I didn't watch the video with you in it. I only watched the Ben Shapiro one, I'm sorry. So you didn't watch my content. You're saying Ben Shapiro is better than me, I'll debate you on that. I'm better than Ben Shapiro. And I've done more for the culture war than Ben Shapiro could do in one day. I agree with you. Okay, she agrees with me, thank God. Not a lip tar like some of these people walking no. by. Thank you. Awesome. Debate Charlie Kirk. <laughs> Debate Charlie Kirk. Just say, hey, I think Taylor Swift is better than Sabrina Carpenter. I think it's okay, but thank you. Okay, here's the thing. I'll get fired if you don't debate him, and he'll beat me with a belt. Like the last time I didn't get someone. Look, see that? See that scar? He, he burned me with his cigarette. Wow. Yeah, I think I'll just watch, but thank you. Do you want to debate Charlie Kirk? I think he'd kick my ass. Trust me, he's gone soft. You could totally take him down today. All in all, how are you going to go about doing the Chinese, the Arabs, the Africans? How are you going to... How are you going to... Well, you put them in handcuffs. How are you going to take them all away? You find them, you put them in handcuffs, and you lock them in the back of a bus. And so you how are you checking IDs? They don't even... In California, it they don't even matter. check IDs. We don't need an ID. We're just going to guess. And if we're wrong, we're that's their... Get? Yeah, we're going to take... Listen, it's not a perfect system, but they didn't come here perfectly, so they don't get to leave perfectly. If they would have came here legally, then they get to leave legally. But if they're going to come here in, in the back of a, a Ford pickup, then they're going to leave in the back of a Ford pickup. That's what we do with immigration. You come here and you leave the way you came here. Gotcha. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Luis. Thank you. God bless you. 1-0, and o, baby. 1-0. and o. Say your name, young man. Uh, Brian. What's up, Brian? Ronaldo's better than Messi. Uh, no, I think Messi has more Instagram followers than Ronaldo. I feel like Ronaldo is a better hard worker than Messi, in my opinion. Why do you say that? Messi has more talent than hard work. If you want an example, in the Champions League in the finals, he was just sitting down, not warming up with this team. But he did make a really good performance. He won that game. But it just shows how lazy Messi can be. Well, I, I'd say you're wrong. If he was resting before the game and he won, I think then him resting before the, before the game was the right decision, wouldn't you say? I feel like warming up with the team would be a better decision. Because but did they win the game? They did. At the end of the day, when you compete, what is the number one objective when you compete against somebody? But he didn't score any goals. It doesn't matter. What's it about? What's it, what's it about? Team, a team player, individual player? Team player. And so whose team won? His team. So? so? Argument done. You're done. You lost the argument. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Great job. <laughs> Two and oh. All right, come on. Let's debate. Who wants to debate? You can yell at him through the mask. Let's debate. He don't want the smoke. Oh, all I right. want the smoke. I want all the smoke. All right, let's go. All right what do you want? About. What do y'all want to debate? Anything? Uh, how do you feel about abortion? Abortion is disgusting. Uh, they say it's a woman's reproductive right to get an abortion. I think that it should be outlawed. I don't like the death of little children. A lot of people say that it's a fetus and that's not a human. That's the farthest thing from the truth. We were all fetuses. And with a little bit of time, we all became the beautiful lady that you are standing right in front of me. So I think abortion is terrible. So what if a woman is 
for instance, like raped and she can't get an abortion, then what? Well, you know, that is a very uh, sad situation, but I don't know in any states if you do get raped or you can't get an abortion. In Texas, you can get an abortion if you get raped. Um, there was an instance where uh, I think she was 18 years old, her baby died, but they weren't able to take it out due to the abortion law. Well, that happens sometimes, you know. We, for every baby we save, you know, we're going to lose some. Uh, that's just life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you feel about the ones that... Not the ones that's raped, but the ones that can't, like, can't have kids. So, like, and they did have, like, they, they, they forced to keep the baby, even though, like, their reproductive system is not allowing them to, like, they, it's taking well, let them me out. Let me tell y'all something real quick. And y'all are young African-American ladies. If you notice, the, the predominant place that Planned Parenthood is put is in urban areas. And why do they do that? Because a woman that created Planned Parenthood was a woman named Margaret Sanger, and she didn't like African Americans. And so she wanted African Americans to actually kill their children. You got to look at, look into it. And now Planned Parenthood has been taken over, but it originally started to take advantage of young African Americans. And that's what a lot of people don't realize when it comes to the history of abortion. And now I understand people don't have the financial needs to raise a baby, but that shouldn't be an excuse because you did have sex. You did not use protection. You made about four or five decisions to get here. Here and now you got a baby, you got to deal with it. But I think y'all should look into how they put these in predominantly urban areas because they don't care about young black children. So a lot of these what abortionists. If, what if, for instance, like they were using protection, but the condom breaks, and then it's like now you have to deal with the kid. Yeah, well, I to. mean, it was your choice to buy an off-brand condom. Go buy a real Trojan condom. Don't use the free condom that you got at the nightclub, you know, in the VIP lounge or in the, the one you put a quarter in in the bathroom. Go use a Trojan condom. And really, honestly, don't be busting nuts like that. Don't be busting nuts oh like God. that. I mean that. I mean, it, it, if you don't bust nuts like that, you don't have babies. I mean, it's not oh that complicated. God. I know y'all are young, but, I mean, y'all know how a baby's made. Okay, so do you feel like they should put, like, like at schools and colleges and you know high school so they put condoms in schools so we don't have to worry about as many kids in abortions i mean no kids are already over sexualized you young kids have been over sexualized with the internet so much so i think y'all know what a condom is i think young people know where to get condoms well, i mean having is, access to free condoms i think is good but in the schools i don't know if that's necessary so i feel like whenever we're in college like the sex drive does go up and there are like more sexual intercourse i do I feel like we should have like a vending machine or like a free area where we have like good condoms instead of the offerings like you were talking about. Do you agree I, with that? I think that's okay to have an, uh, access to condoms. Yeah, I, I don't think that that's a crazy thing whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And this, going back to the abortion thing, I'm just saying, obviously, I understand people's reason why you'd want to have an abortion, but you made a decision mm -hmm. to do the damn thing. And you probably know young people that have had babies. And I'll tell you this much. Usually when people have a baby, they're not sad that they had the baby. I'll mm -hmm. tell you that much. I know life might be hard. I know financially you got a lot of have a, you're going to have a lot of headaches, but I've never met somebody that had a baby that regretted actually having that baby. So I'm going to agree with you. On the, just on a little, on a little bit. Because <laughs> she agreed with me with Serena! <laughs> Wait, oh my the God. God. <laughs> I just, I do, I do have a feeling like, like, we do do some things that we shouldn't, and then we think about it and we like, oh, we should have an abortion, or we don't have the money. But we did lay there and decided to do what you did, and now you got this baby. But for the ones that have been raped or they're that not allowed bad. to have and kids, I, you are allowed to have I do abortion. feel like they yeah. should be able to have I, an abortion. I, you know, I agree. And it is that. against it is in the Bible that abortion is shouldn't be a thing. So yeah, and I like the Bible. I might gotta give it to you on this one. I'm not gonna. Ah! Give it to you. Thank you, young Thank ladies. Y'all you. are awesome. Oh Debate me. I'm three and zero. Oh. Anybody want some of this smoke? Oh. Bring it on. What's your name, young man? My name's Diego. Diego. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, Diego. So what do you think about Dak Prescott? That's what I want to hear. I want to hear your opinion. You know, I like Dak Prescott. When Dak Prescott originally hurt his leg about three years ago, he stopped running, and that's changed his whole entire game. You know, he's a great field general. He's a great commander in the huddle. But when it comes to uh, his game, it's not as good as it once was when he was a rookie because he doesn't run for those third and shorts anymore. So we're always trying to pass it. So he's just, he's just not the quarterback that he once was. I still like Dak. I don't know if we should pay him, you know, one third of our entire salary cap for the Dallas Cowboys. I'm frustrated about that, but overall, I think Dak's a good player, but his game has regressed. What, what's your prediction on how much longer Jerry Jones lives? Jerry Jones is probably drinking adrenochrome and the blood of children will probably live a lot longer than you and I combined. So yeah, I wouldn't, I think, I wouldn't bet like, on him dying. You think he like soon. sucks life out of other people? 
Yes, he probably does suck the life out of people. They, a lot of these uh, billionaires, they have blood boys where they'll do a blood transfusion with a younger person and recycle their blood. And, uh, yeah, no, that's very common. All right, what's the best Pokemon? I mean, of them all, I mean, Charizard, I guess. Why? I, no reason. No reason. He's just the problem. I mean... I mean, who? I mean, yeah, no reason other than he's the first one that comes to mind. And if we're still talking about Pokemon in this day and age, after the Pokemon Go era, uh, we need to start looking into some more uh, interesting subjects. Okay. All right. All right. Let me think. What's the best subject? Of all time? All time. The best subject of all time? I would say uh, God, the creator. That's a good subject. That's not what I was talking about, but I, you know what? That, that's a good answer. It is a good answer. I'm, I'm the best debater ever. 4 0! Oh, I want another debate! Who wants the smoke? That was this the guy last... wants the smoke. He's lying! He's lying! He's I lying. want that debate! Get He's out lying. of here! Jimmy, go shut that kid up, Jimmy! Shut that kid up! Okay, say your name, young man. What's up? I'm Alex. Oh, I'm Alex. Oh, excuse me. Charlie, right? I'm Charlie, yes. It's okay. We can bond over our shared uh, li name lineage. Yes, we can. What do you want from me, Alex? What are your views on God? God is real. They tried to hide the existence of God. I think that's one of the biggest plagues on society. No fucking way. They tell us that we evolved from pond scum and that the Big Bang, you know, everything came from nothing. And that's why we have a society of fruitless and hopeless and rudderless kids because they don't realize that there is something special about this universe and that we all won the lottery of life just being here. Just being born proves that God is real because this creation is not an accident. Well, I'm glad we started here because I think there's a lot to talk about. Let's so go. like, you don't believe in the Big Bang or the theory of evolution? No, there's micro evolutions like, you know, two birds that mate with other birds and their beaks might get longer. Tall people have tall babies. But the idea that a protista or a zygote or some uh, Adam just split abiogenesis on its own and everything came from nothing. It's stupid. There's not enough uh, transitional species for it to prove that uh, evolution is real. That's a bold claim, Cotton. Uh, yeah, let's I'm very see. bold. I'm a bold person. I'm the yeah. world's greatest college debater. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if uh, evolution doesn't hold up to your scrutiny, I guess, right? It does not. Yeah. So, like, do you argue for like a 6,000 year old? Creation? No, I, you know, I'm not a mathematician, but I do think the Earth is old, but uh, I don't know how old. I, I'll tell you this much. There's geologists, they'll take lava that just came right out of, out of a volcano, right? And it'll harden. And they'll go and they'll do the uh, testing on it. They'll, they'll see how old it is. And they'll say that it's millions of years old, yet it's rock that's less than a day old. So a lot of the uh, testing when it comes to science is, is off. So do I don't you have really... like a name for that study or... Did you just pull it up out of your butt? I don't need a, I don't need a name. It's the prime time uh, Charlie Kurtz study, and it's right. Look it up. Look up lava. So he just makes shit up, right? Like I guess I'm that's the format. I'm not making shit up. No, it's real. Just go look at lava. Go look at a, a, a testing of lava of how old it is. Right. Yeah. No, I'm definitely uh, skeptical on that. But well, I mean, if you provided you evidence, skeptic. right? You, you know, can, I, I'd I like definitely change my mind. I provided the lava, so you you, you know. Like, sex, they, like, the devil wants to have sex with children and wants to do all kinds of perverted, weird stuff. So, Wh just, Where is that written? It doesn't need to be written. It's implied. Implied, okay. Even though, like, uh, Jesus impregnated the Virgin Mary at the age of 12? Not through sex. Uh, yeah, but still a 12-year-old getting impregnated. Well, that was a beautiful thing. That seems thing. a little pedophilic to me, right? Well, you know, there's a weird stuff, too, with uh, Muhammad. There's all kinds of weird stuff, you know, different uh, ages or different... Uh, yeah, I just don't see any written gospel saying set Satan promotes pedophilia, but I do see that with Islam. I do see that with Christianity. Well, I don't think Christians are pedophiles. Is that what you're trying to say? I mean, did Yahweh, like, impregnate a 12-year-old girl, yes or no? He didn't have sex with her, no. Did he impregnate a 12-year-old girl, yes or no? Oh, I don't know. Do we know? Hey, fact check, Jimmy, how old was the Virgin Mary? Jimmy! Yeah, yeah. Fact check, come here. So come facts here. do matter. No, math doesn't matter. What? <laughs> how old was the Virgin Mary when the Virgin Mary got impregnated? Uh, like 16? 12. He's wrong. He says 12. 12? 12. Can you even get pregnant at age 12? Say God's a pedophile. I feel like this guy might be a pedophile. Big I don't if know true. That. Big you're, if true. No, it's not. God's not a pedophile. This guy is. This guy is killing this debate. I mean, you're arguing Satan's a pedophile without evidence, but we have evidence Yahweh impregnated well, a 12-year-old Well, the people that girl. worship Satan are usually pedophiles. And where are you pulling that from? Again, Hillary you're Hillary Clinton's emails. 
Hillary Clinton's emails, like the 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 renowned Have Satanist. Have you read the emails? Have you read the emails? Yeah, yeah. She's just putting Satanism all over there, right? Like she saying, is. Like, she's uh, talking about pizza. She's talking about want, all kinds wanna, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. dude, get the fuck go out of here, man. Go read the emails. Go read the emails. There's nothing in Alex, there about pro pedophilia. Yes, it is. I've yes. read the whole damn thing. There's no, no things about pro pedophilia. There's, there's like two, there's okay, pull it up. Well, who's pages the fact checker? Pull up. Pull it 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 up. Use ChatGPT to pull it up. The Bible does not specify the exact age of the Virgin Mary when she became pregnant with Jesus. However, historical and cultural context suggests that the Jewish girl in Mary's time typically married and started families in their early to mid-teens, often between the ages of 12 and 16. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's not good. It's <laughs> <laughs> not good. I'm just glad we're using facts, man. That's good. No, that's good. No, it's not good. It's not good. Okay. Uh, so... So we've established that Satan is less pro pedophile than the no, no way. Satan is more pro pedophile. Alex, get out of here. Where's the evidence? The, Alex, the evidence where's the evidence? Is, it's in those knee braces. Why do you have those knee braces on? They're distracting me. Free will doesn't exist. What do you mean free will doesn't exist? Determinism is the truth. What the hell does that mean? Determinism. There's no free will. Okay, we got a new right. debater. Get out of here, Alex. Thank, Thank you for debating. You. Thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure. That was awesome. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. Do you think This is me. This wow. is who they think I am. They're afraid of me. That they is. think I'm a Nazi. They say Alex Stein. Alex Stein is a fascist. He's a close friend of Gavin McInnes, a founder of the Proud Boys, a far-right militia. He has sexually harassed multiple women. He wants trans kids dead and trans adults in prison. I don't want trans kids dead. You want some transgender dude pooping next to you next time you go to the bathroom? Is that what you want? You want some guy just sitting there looking at your feet underneath the stall? Lord knows what he's doing on the other side. Is that what you want? Some guy in a dress dropping a right next to you? Is that okay with you? That's not okay with me. That's not, I don't want some dude in a dress pooping next to my damn daughter at day school. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That's a very specific experience, I think. Well, uh, everybody has to use the bathroom, right? Giselle, thank you for this debate. Likewise. Giselle, have a good day. Have a good day. All right, who's next? Who wants to debate me, the world's greatest debater? What do you want to debate? Anything. Illegal immigration. Are you here legally? Let me see your green card. Oh, wow. Because I'm Mexican? Yeah, I'm going to call ICE on you. Uh, I can already yeah, tell. You my didn't... grandma and my dad were here illegally. No, yes. they're not! They What's were. What's your last name, Jimmy? His, his parents are on. Come here. Write down their name. We're going to have ICE come to your house. What's your name and what's your address? How More long like... have you had that mustache? How long have you been able to grow that mustache? Um, since I've, birth? I've been able to grow it since I was like 12, actually. That's but what like, I'm saying. I yeah. actually let it grow out. It yeah. doesn't look bad. I think it looks good, actually. Yeah. I'm not can you can you not grow facial hair or not what? Not like that. I'm Charlie Curd. I'm a debater. Nah, I I'm know. I, f I saw that. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. We are you getting this on camera? We are never, ever, getting this on camera? I think maybe there should be less male comedians. You think yeah. there should be less male comedians? Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of you guys, and sometimes should there be more female comedians, or are you I actually? I feel like a comedian is a very run out job at this point. If I see one more comedian special with a guy that looks exactly like you on Netflix, I'm gonna shoot myself. It's getting repetitive. That is fair, but Joe Rogan, you know, he's a very popular comedian, and he has a bunch of white guys that are like him that are getting. I didn't specials. say white guy. I just think guys. There's just a lot of guys. And it's all the same stuff over and over. Well, women aren't funny. Boom. Yeah. I won that debate. Mm -hmm. uh, women aren't funny. That's why. So uh, another win for the Charlie Kurt Master. Women are not as funny as men. That is a great win. No, really, you own me with that. Do you have any other preschool comments to make? Or do we want to move to first grade insults? No, so I can no you insults, but women are not as funny as men. It's impossible for women. They don't understand satire. Uh-huh. No. All right, yes, sir. Say your name, please. My name is Julian Briones. Julian. And I wanted to ask, do you think uh, the blowing up of Alderaan is a, a justified action against the rebels? Is that Lord of the Rings or Star Wars? What Star kind of Wars, sir. Star Wars. First of all, uh, Star Wars has been hijacked by a bunch of woke lesbians at Disney. And if you're still a fan of that woke production, you should really look in the mirror and do some self-reflection because I'm sick of woke lesbians ruining some of the greatest franchises of all times, including Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. was a great franchise. Of that course. went woke. Of that course. went gay. Ruined. I feel the same way. I'm just waiting for Andor Season 3. That's what I'm waiting for. And I want some more masculinity in Andor. I'm sick of these transgender Jedis ruining all the damn good storylines. I want more rebellion. That's what I want. More rebellion. Thank you. All righty. You have Is a good day. Yeah, thank you so much.
Thank you. God bless you. Are you next up? Say your name, young man. Hello, sir. My name is Alex Copeland. Nice to meet you. What's up, Alex Copeland? Okay, so I don't think that Palestine has a right to exist. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Elan Omar is not going to like this debate. No. Um, Neither will AOC. She will not. She's my favorite big booty Latina. <laughs> you know, uh, Palestine, maybe their right to exist is... <sighs> Maybe they can have a right to exist. I don't like Hamas's right to exist. And I don't like the conflict that's going on in the Middle East. I don't know if a ceasefire even stops anything. I think it's going to no. be total annihilation. And I think they push Israel to the breaking point. And it's just a really unfortunate situation. I wish we could try to fix things there. Yeah. I don't know if it's fixable. I think Donald Trump will help us not get into war with Iran. That's true. But when it comes to Palestinians, you know, they were there. I think not all Palestinians are bad. I think it's Hamas that is bad. They need to give up the hostages, but I don't think Palestine's going to be here much longer. You're probably going to get what you wish for. It's a crazy world. Well, this guy doesn't want Palestine to exist, uh, but for AOC, I can't agree with him. So thank you for being here. I love you, AOC. <laughs> all right. All right, who's next up? Great right. job. Great job debating. Fix the mic, Jimmy. Fix his mic. I'm sorry, sorry. Jimmy, give me some chips. Uh, give me uh, some chips. Okay, chips. They're right here. They're right here. I need you to give me some uh, chips. I'm starving. <laughs> Jimmy, hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh -huh. Right there in that box. Okay. Say your say your name, young man. Uh, yeah. My name is Evan. All that, you know. Um, open them. Open them. I don't want to get the cheeto <laughs> dust in my hand. Well, I believe in uh, separation of church and state, so I don't think it should be mandatory, but I also don't think it should be outlawed. If you want to read a Bible, Quran, you know, Torah, you should be allowed to in a public school. But yeah, I don't think the teacher should be teaching uh, religion in school. Okay. I agree with that. Yeah. I think um, the first time. Another debate one. <laughs> that. Mm. What else you got for me? Um. Well, let's debate if you should get a haircut or not. You should. That's a good idea. It's too long. I think that's it. Yeah, I just want to know your opinion on that. So you just lost that debate. I, mm. <laughs> How does it feel? Bye, Noah. I just saw all of these posters, and I just had a couple of questions. Why do you think that being a socialist harms economic hardship or Ooh. supports economic hardship? It does support economic hardship. Where in the definition uh, did you hear that, though? Because the definition for socialist belongs means that the government belongs to the people. So I just want to know what kind of what gave you that impression, you know? You know what? It's really sad that I sit here and I debate these young men and I see I can tell you're a smart man. And the fact that you think a socialist society is going to solve all of our problems or... All right, post-game interview, how do you think that went? Um, I think the Charlie Kirk is um, not exactly giving me any clue points or true points on why socialism is bad. Mm -hmm. um, he really just said, no, it's bad, and kept repeating that over and over again. So, but, but, but is it bad? I don't think so. Um, okay. I don't fully agree that any, um, besides fascism, because that's fascism, mm -hmm. um, any true society, if done right, can work out. Uh, capitalism, we live in a capitalist society, it isn't done correctly, um, which ends up just giving more people the monetary... So you're saying you won the debate? Well, I'll tell you how to get a free house. Go across the border and sneak back in and say that you're Venezuelan seeking asylum and you'll get a free hotel room in Manhattan. I see. So that is... A Jimmy, get off the bull and go find me people to debate, you idiot! Jimmy! <laughs> You're not here to ride the damn bull, dude. You're here to f <laughs> go find me debate partners, dude. <laughs> God, he's such an idiot. <laughs> Just come on the mic and debate. No, but I like you. Okay, okay I, I like you, you too. He's, he told me to make fun of your forehead, though. <laughs> Jimmy, quit telling these people about my damn forehead. That's why I'm self-conscious. <laughs> I have the hat on today. Okay, I'm on my bad, bad. What, are, what have you debated about with people today? Like, what are the topics you've got? Abortion, uh, kebabs, burgers. <laughs> Uh, you, yeah, football, cars. You think? Oh, oh, it's college escape. Debate. Period. Debate. 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 Oh shit! Get on the microphone. Oh, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please say your name for the camera, sir. Uh, my name. Whatever you want to say, your nickname, your handle, I don't care. 
Oh. Bird person. I know. <laughs> Do you want to debate the world's greatest college debater, Charlie Kurt, today? I don't think that man is here. You're looking at him. I'm just look at the sign. Can you read, bud? I can read, asshole. Okay. You well, can let's lie, debate. But not I'm not very lying. Good. I'm Charlie Kurt. All right, let's debate. Grab the mic. What do you want to you debate? You want to debate about? You pick the topic. I'll wipe the floor with you. I've been wiping the floor with people like you all damn day, and you're coming okay, up here. Okay, Lightning McQueen. You eat winners. You eat losers for breakfast. Whatever. Okay, this isn't Talladega Nights. This is the this is the Charlie Kurtz experience. So. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was a real show. This is a real show, and you're on it. Yeah. How does it feel? How does it feel? I know you're nervous. I know you're sitting there shaking. You want to say something to me? Say it. Say it with all your cojones. Say it with your chest, young man. Don't be afraid. You don't have balls. I have huge testicles. Where's your proof? They're right in my pants, and I don't wear my. I'm not proof. gonna. You want to see my genitals? So, sir, you just came here and asked me to see my genitals. Show me the proof, dumbass. We have you on camera, sir. That you just came here unapproached and is asking to see my naked genitalia. Do you realize? Well, I guess you don't have balls, then. Because I don't want to expose myself and show you. Yeah, that's what you are, you Nazi. You don't want to expose yourself and tell the truth. Wait, why am I a Nazi? Because I don't want to show you my testicles. No, you're the dumb one. How am I the dumb one? Because you're not getting at anything I'm saying. Because you just asked to see my testicles, correct? Because you're a piece of shit. So that's why you want to see my balls? Yeah. Because I'm a piece of shit, you want to see my testicles? I want you to show the truth. Do you have balls? Yes, I do. They're right here. I don't see them. I'll kind of... You can kind of see how they're... Oh, really? See how they're... Are you getting a zoom in on that? Of course. Look at they're this right retard there. out here showing off his bulge. You I just got to him to do it. that. You asked to see this. You're trying to get my goat? I just got you to show everyone your bulge. I show everybody my bulge every day. They're very large. What Good do you mean? Good for you, dumbass. How am I dumb? Because you are. And you think you're smart by sitting here begging a man to show him your genitals? I think you're a piece of shit. Why is that? Because you are. Charlie. Don't be like that. Can we become friends? No. Why not? Because I don't make friends with transphobes, homophobes, Nazis, and the like of you. I apologize for whoever hurt you. I can tell that you're a good young man. I can tell you have a good heart. You sound like my grandparents. You know what my grandparents do? They sit at home and watch Fox News all day, sucking their thumbs like goddamn idiots. I bet your grandparents love you very much. No, they don't. What do they give you for Christmas? What does your grandmother give you for Christmas every year? She gives you $200, and she you love it. She gives you a it. slap on the face. No, she gives you $200 in that envelope, and you love it. Yeah, you and know you what? And you love that $200 that Meemaw gives you, don't you? You know what? And it feels she good. She votes for Donald Trump, so too. So what? She gives you that $200. Well, they're stealing our goddamn future, you piece of shit. How? How is Donald Trump stealing it? With the tariffs? With the tax cuts for the wealthy? But your grandmother's going to give you 200 bucks. So I don't want 200 bucks. What do you want? I want to pay less taxes, and I want Donald the rich Trump's people gonna to pay make, more. Donald Trump's going to make us pay less. He's paying taxes for people who pay less than... I know, so those corporations can pay their employees better. No? Yes. You believe in trickle-down economics? I am trickle-down economics. Trickling down like that cum down your pants? Why? What is the deal with my penis and ejaculating? What's going on, dude? You're a piece of shit. What's going on? You're a piece of shit. Do you want to go get a hamburger or something? No. Who hurt you? I want to heal Fuck you. Fuck tards like you. What did I do? Go fuck yourself. Don't be like that. You know what? If you're going to come here, ruin our goddamn campus with your free speech, I'm going to fuck around with you too. And you know what? I don't care if UCSA campus has to pull us out of here. I'm going to ruin your fucking day. Don't do that. Piece of shit. I love you, brother. Go fuck yourself. Can I get you a hamburger or something? No. You want some chocolate? No. It's delicious. What's your point? Would you, do you like chocolate? This is bait. It's not bait. It's just candy. What's on it? It's just chocolate. Yeah, and you're going to tell me I'm an anti-Semite now because it's got no. a Hanukkah thing on it? Would you like some Lay's potato chips? I don't want your goddamn chips. I don't want your goddamn lies. What do you want? I want you to get off my campus. Can we be friends? No. Why? You asked that question ten times, and you think I'm the dumb one? No, I you just... You don't understand the meaning of no. I know you love your grandparents very much, and I know you're mad that they voted for Donald Trump, but Donald Trump wants you... You're not Mr. Rogers, you dumb piece of shit, just because you can put on some fucking cardigan? 
Why am I not Mr. Rogers? Because you're a goddamn idiot and an asshole. What do you not? What do you not like about me? I don't care. You're an asshole. How? Because you went I... for Turning Point USA. Yeah. The goddamn conservative can. Yeah, why, conservative why Christian are conservatives organization bad? on canvas. Why are conservatives bad? Why are conservatives bad? Yeah. Because they are turning into Nazis. They're not conservatives anymore. Do you really They're think They're neo-fascists. That? Do you really think that? What do you think of me? I'm a Democrat. I voted for Kamala Harris, proud and true. What do you think of that? You, you like Kamala Harris? Oh, yeah. You're, I don't care if you're, she lost. You're I still voted. Than that. You're smarter than that. I don't care. I'm not going to believe your lies. What you know about, who hurt me? A bunch of goddamn white kids like you. What did All they do? All my fucking life. What did they do? Did they bully you? Yeah, dumb piece of shit. I'm sorry. Go back to fucking middle school where you belong. I'm sorry that you're bullied like that. It's not fair. It was not nice of those kids to bully you. But you're a very powerful young man. I think you could use all that power. You could harness it for good. Doing what? I don't know. I don't know. What are you passionate? Why don't you do what something you other than this bullshit on my campus? No. This is what I do. I spread awareness. I speak to young men like you that are hi highly trying affected. trying to radicalize angry people. And I'm angry just because you're here. I know. I'd like to radicalize you on my side to support Donald Trump. I'd like to kick you in the balls. Would that make you feel better? Would it make me feel better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. To assault another man? Yeah. To kick a man in the genitalia? First you asked to see my penis. Now you want to touch my penis with your foot? Real hard. Do you Real think, hard, do man. Do you think that's bizarre to go up to a person and... I think it's bizarre that you're here in the first place. But I'm not the one going up to somebody asking to see their penis, asking to put my foot on their penis. You're I don't doing care. That. Go fuck yourself. Get that. Get that. That's a win. That's a win! Race yeah. I'm the champion! We did it! Yeah. We won! Guys, we did it. Charlie Kerr just broke the record for most debate wins on a college campus. I couldn't have done it without people like that. God bless America. What a country to live in. Couldn't be prouder. Let's go.